Hello everyone, nowadays we need to promote our masterpieces on the internet. But not always you have to make a lyric video or a trailer right away for it. You can start with a simple motion stylish background. And today we are going to recreate one of my short motion video that I created for my short documentary Superstar Inside of Me. Here it is. So we will do a square version for Instagram. For this video I need a PSD file with separate layers, as well as a logo of my film. So let's get started. Let's create a new composition. Resolution we set to 1000 by 1000 pixels. Duration 1 minute and click OK. First thing we need to create is a sunburst background. So let's create a new layer, solid. Let's call it sunburst background. And let's change color to 3C0603. Now let's create the sunburst itself. Let's create a new shape layer. We pick star to double click and change the amount of points from 5 to 21 in a radius decrease to 1 and outer radius to 1700 in a roundness to minus 650 and outer roundness to 120 now we need to rotate it go to rotation settings activate the stopwatch Move all the way to the end, change your rotation settings to 5 cycles, for example. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's change the color of our sunburst shape to a red one. That's much nicer. Let's move our center point to the right bottom corner. Let's change the position by adjusting the position settings of your layer. Also, I would like to add some depth by adding a light layer to our composition. Let's switch our layer to 3D mode and let's adjust our lighting layer. The next step is I will put my PSD file into this composition. As you can see, it's too big. Let's decrease the scale. I think that's a good size just um, just see our character has reached the borders of the screen by his shoulders right here the next thing i would like to animate his neon glasses for our video for this effect i will use a third party plugin from red giant it's called star glow Let's apply it here, as our neon glasses have a blue color, we change input channel from lightness to blue. So this effect will apply only for the glasses. So let's adjust the strike length from 20 to 8 and the boost light we increase to 3 points. Let's change the color of our glasses. I prefer to leave the blue color, but you may pick the any other color what you want. So we have to change color map A. In individual color setting, we change all adjustment to color map A. I would like to adjust the color 
of my character to a bluish tone. For this I will use a new adjustment layer and let's apply a channel mixer effect and let's change blue blue option to 135 okay let's also use curves and let's apply it on the psd file itself and we will make it a bit darker something like that okay the next part is to animate our glasses. For this, we go to Stair Glow Effects, Stair Glow Opacity, hold Option key and click on Stopwatch. And we just type our expression. It's a simple expression, wiggle, open in parentheses, 5, 100. Close in parentheses. Simple and stylish. You can play with the settings if you want to make it faster or slower. Our character has to be appear from the floor to the center of our composition. Let's adjust the position settings. At the very beginning of our composition, we take a stopwatch to create a keyframe and count about 1 to 3. 1 to 3. And uh, click right here to add another keyframe. So let's adjust our animation. Move the character all the way down. Okay. Okay, and also I need to add a jumping effect, so we will use another expression for this. So hold the option key and click on stopwatch to add an expression, and here we are. Don't worry, I will add this expression in the description of this video, so you can use it for your own works as well. You might notice uh, there is some bad dirt spots of our PSD files. Perhaps it was photoshopped not very clearly. So let's add some mask to eliminate this dirt. And to make this mask more natural, let's add some feather. That's about 15 and that's enough. I'm not sure that I want to make my character appearing from the first seconds of my video and I will shift the keyframes a little, maybe about, it will start right here. Yeah, that's good I think. So the last part is to add a logo of the film, right here. I need to change the scale to 50, for example, and let's move it down. The video never should contain any motion gaps among motion. So let's follow the rhythm. Rotating background, appearing of the character, and right here, uh, that's too long. Once again, right here, the logo might be appearing yes that seems really good to me so this is it i hope this video helps you if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask it in the comment section and see you soon thank you happy holidays